Hello, Alive. How you doing? I've got your work up here. And let me see if I can bring it into that screen a little bit closer. Okay, awesome. So we got your work up here. All right, this ad looks fantastic. Now we've got the five, um, the five pieces. And let me see. We've got uh, ad, magazine ad, book cover, menu, point of sale, DVD, CD, DVD cover. That... That's, is that five? I, I wasn't counting. I was just naming. <laughs> Hold on. There's one, two, menus, three, point of purchase is four, CD, DVD covers five. Okay. And then you've got, I'm not real sure what those are, and we'll talk about that in a second. But, um, and then you've got your, uh, excellent. Okay. First thing I want to mention is you can see me uh, scrolling through the pages really fast like this. Of course, all of your pages are different sizes. That's not presentation format. Presentation format would indicate one size page. Okay, maybe like that would be your page size, and you would place your elements on that page like you've done here. So if you have, you know, 35 pages that you want to show, they would all be the same size, and you would place the work on here. Okay, so that way you're not asking your viewer to, okay, so suppose we want to kind of zoom into this just a little bit, and we go to change the page, and the page sizes seem to be changing and jumping around. So it's just a kind of an inconsistent way to look at, see what I mean? It's, it's a really inconsistent way to try to look at work. So keep that in mind um, for this next week's submission and, the, and subsequent weeks. Okay, now the work itself. Let's start with this ad. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think this ad is very, very good. Um, you've done some really good things here. I think that the, 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 the Camera image is a little light. I think that could go into Photoshop, do a levels adjustment layer or a curves adjustment layer. You want to bring the contrast up a little bit on that and, that, and increase that tonal range just a little bit. It's just really kind of washed out. The camera itself, <clears throat> excuse me, the um, halo effect you have on the camera, I think it's great. I, I love it. Uh, the background image, it could be a PDF rendering. However, I think that background image is a little bit dark. It's it's, you can't really see it much. The bottom of the image, <clears throat> I, want, I want to zoom in here a little bit, and I want to see um, this image right here might not be the most suitable image right there, only because the eyes, the way the eyes, the, this, this person's eyes are oriented looking, um, they're cross-eyed. So that's going to create kind of a re really weird vibe in the ad itself. You can see that in the subconsciously or conscious, you can see it. the ads are crossed. It's kind of th throwing a skew on the ad that I don't think you want and I don't think your client wants either. I would keep that image, remove that image. Um, the uh, Okay, typographically, I this was a good idea, pulling color out of the, the logo. That was a great idea. What I would do here is I would not use the logo here, Canon. I would use just tech type here. You can say use the same typeface, magnifying the world issues one Canon at a time. Then with Canon, just put the the uh, uh, trade uh, uh, the, our uh, copyright or the trademark symbol on that, so that that's known. It's 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 a logo, and then it'll also point to the bottom because we'll put another copyright trademark little circle and have the logo down here. I'll finish more on that in a second. So, anyways, you're not, you don't have these competing colors up here. Um, this will just all be white. It'll work perfectly. One thing I think, I think the type is set very nicely. Uh, one thing you do not want to do is center that last line. You're going to justify your type, last line, align left, always. Um, your, your client is not going to appreciate this logo plopped right over their product. So that's going to have to move. I, my suggestion would be take this, put it right here in this corner, align with your contact information, put Canon over here, get that out of there, clean up the in middle of the ad, get the logos down here, clean up the typography, and I think this will be a beautiful piece. Okay, moving on. Catcher in a Rye looks great. Couple of comments here. We are going to have to design a, uh, a, a, a spine, okay, that's this right here. You're going to have to design that. You're going to have to design the back cover, and since this is a hardback, I would highly recommend you design a inside a front dust flap as well as an inside back dust flap. And those are those things that flap over like that. There's usually uh, uh, um, information, textual image or both on inside dust flaps. It's a great way to introduce the author, give a little bio, give a little something on the story. As far as the typography goes, I would highly, highly recommend you don't do this unless you have a reason. 
I, I'm going to tell you right now, you're sitting in front of me in a, in a interview. I'm going to say, what is the reasoning for connecting the R and the T? And if you don't have a reason, it's, it's just not going to work. If you have a reason, I'm all, I'm all for it. I'd like to hear it. You got a conceptual meaning behind that. If you did it just to line those up because it was cool or it, it looked cool, maybe that's true, but you didn't have a reason to do it. If you don't have a reason to do it, don't do it. It's a cardinal rule in graphic design. If you don't have a reason, don't do it, okay? Let me know. Very curious about that. Again, it's design the spine, back cover, inside, dust flap, back, dust flap. This piece, listen, I'm going to be alive. Listen to me. I'm going to be honest with you, okay? This is the most difficult thing for, us, for an instructor to do, but this is not a strong piece. Um, you, you, it's not a strong piece, alive. It's, it's, really peculiar because you've got some strange things going on. Number one, the the um, logo has this three kind of three dimensional like a machete coming towards you as the viewer. And it's and then you also are indicating fire. And it's just it's not a comfortable psychologically it's not a comfortable logo. And 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 the, the way the fire is oriented, the, the type, you can barely see it on the background. The name itself is a little odd, freshly cut and on the grill. Um, and then also you have the logo. Then you have rated number one dinner menu. What's rated number one? The, the restaurant or the dinner menu? Do you see what I'm saying? This standing right here, this rated number one, it's just kind of, it's, it's just, kind of just randomly placed. Okay, then you have this color block here, a green color block here, a brown color block here, and this kind of L-shaped color block here. Very, very peculiar. The inside is, is the same kind of peculiar. You can't hardly even read the, the type. And remember, in a restaurant, the lighting is not going to be great. So um, you're using um, a serif typeface on a, on a color, color background. That's called reverse type. You should always use sans serif on that. Okay, if you want to continue with this piece, I, I can make some suggestions, but I, I don't think it's a strong piece. It's nowhere near the same quality as the design. I will like this, and I'm going to be honest with you, Eliab. I looked at this, and, and I looked at your work last week. Your work's good. Darn good. I look at this piece, I go, wow, this is close to a professionally rendered ad. I go here, I go, wow, that's an attractive book cover, and then I go, Okay, I'm just not seeing the same designer here. Okay, and again, I don't mean to discourage you. I, I, I don't. I mean, as sometime as, a, as an instructor, you have to look at your students and you have to say, okay, this piece is working, this piece isn't working. Uh, it's, it's critique, it's par, par for the course, and please don't take in anything other than constructively. These pieces, technically, they're good, but you've got some, some things here indicating... <clears throat> Uh, some inconsistencies. Watch the up top area. Okay, watch. Okay, just changed. Okay, why? I'm, I'm just, I'm not understanding why those changed like that. A logo is a logo or that identifying mark. Another thing about this table tent is that this piece, right? And I was in the restaurant business for 20 years um, while I was a young, young designer. I, I, I would know exactly what would happen to this. This would get destroyed on the table probably after the first, maybe second handling of this. So the die cut is a very peculiar, those points in the die cut, they just can't stand up to wear at all. Um, okay, I just noticed something. This logo here is different than this logo here. This one's got the gradient and the fire. This one doesn't. So there's, there's and this one does again. So we've got some more inconsistencies going. The, this piece here, you're going on, this is a, 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 it would fold into a triangle, right? And, but you have the same panels on each triangle. So it doesn't really make sense to have a three-sided table tent if all three sides are saying the same thing. Do you see what I'm saying? And, and these are just a few of the things that are going through my head when I'm looking at this piece. If you want to continue with this piece, we are going to have to do some work to it. Um, I would consider replacing it. I just don't think it's, it's indicative of, of the strength of designer you are. Let's move on. This piece is fantastic. All right. Again, we have another very, very strong piece. i got a recommendation here, okay? All right. I, I think that you're overdoing it on, on this. I do. I think the back is good. The way that the image is oriented with the type is a little strange. I'll talk about that in one second. As far as the front cover goes, 
uh, the front cover of the DVD. Till Death Do Us Part, that's great, very visible, hierarchy is there. However, it is in competition with this area right here. Why? Because there's too much going on right here. Right now on this front cover, you've got at least a half dozen things you're asking the viewer to look at and to digest and, and process, okay? You've got skull, smoke, that's two, heels, three, legs, four, rings, five, title, six, sub, seven, byline, eight. You've got eight things, oh, did I say rings? Um, got the shadow of the skull. Okay, there's just a lot here to look at and process. And the mind can't do it. It's, it's, it's called Hicks Law. And basically what Hicks Law is this. The more you add to something, the less important everything else becomes. And you get to a point where the mind just goes, uh, too much, looking away. Okay, I think that's where we're getting to that here. We're getting to that there. If you show this to 15 people and then five minutes later you ask all 15 to describe it, not many people are going to remember the whole thing. Now, my suggestion is this. Let's get rid of the skull. Let's get rid of the skull, let's get rid of the rings, let's bring the legs down, and not centered, but almost about there, rule of thirds, okay? Leave it at that and just leave death to its part. Don't need the ring. That way you're creating some mystery. Right now you're just trying to tell a story. If you, you remove that guy, you remove that guy, and now you're creating a mystery. All we see are the legs, and we're gonna tie that into the back because those legs are gonna tie right into that lower mandible. Okay, but the problem is if you're encroaching your type, that's a problem. Let's move the type. Mm, boy. Okay, this all caps here. I, I, would, I would reduce the size of that. Actually, you won't even have to. What I would do is just move this image down. Whoops, whoops, down, right down here so that it starts to become visible right about here. Move it over a little bit so that her face and lips aren't encroaching the type. The cigarette will be down here, too, so we'll clearly see she's smoking. All right? And that, my friend, is going to be a beautiful piece. This is really done well. I, I, it's very obvious. I mean, I those credits that they use on DVD boxes and CD boxes, it's important that you duplicated that very well. Very good piece. I think this is, like, again, this is a good continuation. Okay, so I, I don't know what this is right here. I don't know. Is this a poster? I, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is either. Okay, uh, this is fantastic. Now, of course, you know, you're not going to show any of this stuff, all these title pages. You won't show these. Uh, you could, but I don't like showing images. I, I recommend students don't. Boy, I'm over 12 minutes. I'm so sorry. I uh, don't recommend showing images in, in image study in your process book. Uh, type studies, definitely. Color studies definitely don't have to show images. Here's your type studies. These are great. Very, 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 very good type studies. Excellent. Great job. Good job. You don't have to talk, you don't have to describe type studies. You really don't. And anybody, any designer looking at this is going to know exactly what they're looking at, including portfolio re uh, reviewers and hiring professionals. Great job. Segue the, the uh, uh, sketches into the comps, into digital layout. Okay. I don't. I can't figure out why these are upside down and backwards. I I, I just can't figure out why you have that uh, presented like that. Then we go to final. These look great. Good product shots. Don't ever cut your product out of the shot, though. You want to keep your product in the shot. It's okay if it's blurry. It's fine. Uh, macro shot will produce some blur. That's the way it is. Uh, I'd like to see some more shots of this. Talk about that also a little bit this week. But this is great. You have still have those. I think the CD, uh, the process book is good. I think your, your work is good, but boy, for that one piece. All right, any questions, comments, concerns, or anything else, please give me a holler. Thanks very much.